so much for joining us because we are covering Tropical Storm Arthur with our team spread out across areas that will be impacted today. Now, in coastal North Carolina, residents are under Tropical Storm warnings. Our Dave Malkoff is in Kill Devil Hills, where local authorities are keeping a very close eye on this strengthening storm. There's a reason why hundreds of thousands of people come out here to the Outer Banks and look at it. It's beautiful. It's isolated. You basically have the beach to yourself here. In the peak season, which we are right in the middle of here on the 4th of July weekend, you have about 250,000 just tourists here on the barrier islands. And that's in addition to the 33,000 residents. And everybody is watching the storm as it's coming up. It's going to come up at the exact wrong time, right in the 4th of July. So they've actually pushed some festivities towards the 7th of July or the 8th of July and that's possibly changing a little vacations for some people but you still got plenty to do here in the Outer Banks so people are going to stay but they're going to keep their eye on the forecast. It should come through right here about 2 o'clock in the morning on Friday. We're not sure how close to the beach it's going to get, but they just don't want to have those barges out there that launch the fireworks. So that's why they've moved those festivities a couple days ahead. So still the 4th of July, but on a different date here in the Outer Banks. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks very much, Dave. Now we'll continue to get updates from our team spread out across the coastal areas that will be impacted by Tropical Storm Arthur. Now we saw the latest advisory at 11 o'clock this morning, but there are times that it will be released throughout the day from the National Hurricane Center. Every three hours, we will get a new advisory. So the next one comes out at 2 Eastern time and then 5, 8, and 11. And of course, we will be the first to let you know what the changes are with this tropical storm. Kate? Well, Viv, our team is constantly gathering new information as we track this storm. And Julie Martin is joining us now. Julie, what's the latest? What's the latest that you found? Well, obviously, keeping a very close eye on our as the storm strengthens and moves up the East Coast. Now, North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory just wrapped up his press conference where his emphasis was on safety and making sure no lives are lost when the storm hits. Don't put your stupid hat on. Usually most injuries occur right before a storm or right after a storm. So especially on the coastal area, we want to make sure people don't dry out the great waves right before the storm comes. Even though there are good waves, we don't want you to go into the ocean. And we want to make sure uh, you stay away from flooded areas after the storm and let the emergency operation workers deal with fallen lines and other operations. And of course, we'll continue to keep a close eye on Arthur all day long, all night long for that matter. Make sure you have all the information that you will need to stay safe in the next 48 hours. Kate, here's a look at the seven day. Well, Julie, and speaking of uh, staying safe, we want to let you know there's a tornado warning, a new one. This is in New York, Sullivan County. It's a radar indicated tornado. So this rotation is within is being indicated on the radar. Nothing has been spotted, so we don't have a confirmed tornado. But regardless, if you're in Sullivan County. It's time to take cover now. Now. It's not time to get in your car and go run an errand or to uh, take your time here. It's time to get into your lowest floor of your house and away from all windows. You want to be in a small room away from windows. That's your biggest goal here. We're talking about Fallsburg at 1249 p.m. at 105 Ulster Heights. This is where this will track to 120 or sorry. And at 127, we're going to continue to watch this move closer and closer actually to Poughkeepsie. So that's going to continue to track off to the east. This tornado warning is along with this severe thunderstorm watch. And you can see all the yellow boxes associated there. So we also had uh, not only all of those strong thunderstorms that we're talking about, the severe thunderstorms, but we also have that tornado warning. Viv? Thanks very much, Kate. Well, stay with us. We're covering Tropical Storm Arthur like no one else. Hurricane Specialist Michael Lowry joins us next with the latest information on this storm, who it will impact, and when. That's all coming up right after your local forecast because we are watching it very closely, taking you mainly the eastern coastal areas there of Florida all the way to South Carolina and to North Carolina. You're looking at Jacksonville Beach right now, and we will continue to keep you updated on the impact from Tropical Storm Arthur along the east coast of Florida all the way to the tidewater of Virginia. 
Want to celebrate the 4th without little uninvited guests? Stop by your neighborhood Ace to get Ortho Home Defense Max with Comfort Wand. Just $9.99 after $3 instant savings during our 4th of July event. Happening now. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Husband and a real good dad, but weeds just make me rattlesnake mad. Well, Roundup has a sharp shooting wand. I'm sending them weeds to the great beyond. No need to pump, just point and shoot. Hit them in the leaves and it kills to the root. Ground fences, trees, even mulch beds, because the only good weed is a weed that's dead. Roundup. Roundup. With a one touch wand. Tomorrow morning on AMHQ, Tropical Storm Arthur will affect the holiday plans of millions. Get the first word on the holiday weekend weather tomorrow morning on the Weather Channel. The most dangerous job on the planet. Storms and rain and lightning. The adrenaline starts running. I make one mistake and I'm dead. You're no longer at the top of the food chain. Currently in our area, 89 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms. Tonight, partly cloudy, chance of a thunderstorm, low 77. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our... makes a Subaru a Subaru. Bridgestone's new drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and go up to 50 miles. We can drive 50 miles on a flat and you have an app that makes nails pop up? Yep. We could rule the world. <laughs> but I've got carpool at three, though, so oh, that time. we could, like, mess with the world. Yeah. protects your devices from damaging leaks. So, have you heard about this new Lancaster? Buttery rich, smooth, and surprisingly soft creams. So you give one a try, and wow. It's new Lancaster. It's caramel reimagined. Sonic has like every slush flavor someone could ever want. That's right, this is basically slush headquarters. Where sour blue raspberry plans world domination. <gasps> Get colorful with new Sonic slushes, now available with Nerds Candy. This is how you Sonic. Andrew. Rita. Sandy. Meet Chris. Jackie. Joe. Minor damage or major disaster. Can you help me move? Sure, but I can't use my hands. I would, but my back is so bad. Oh. <sighs> uh, well. Hi, uh, I'm moving. No problem. The Xfinity Movers Edge program makes it easy to stay connected to your TV, internet, and home phone when you move. Oh, thank you. Finally, get some help moving. Get your Xfinity services professionally installed on the date you choose, or ask how you can take your equipment with you. Call 1-855-MOVE-EDGE or go online today. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. 
Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Shop everything home at Wayfair.com. The Weather Channel's new morning show. It all starts with the weather. America's Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Weekday mornings at 7, only on the Weather Channel. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. We are tracking a tornado warning. This is in New York, Sullivan County. If you live in this area, it's time to take cover now. This is radar indicated. It has not been visually confirmed, but it does not mean that you should not be taking this seriously. We're talking about Fallsburg, Liberty, and Thompson. Those are the cities that you should be taking cover in until 1.15 p.m. Again, this is a tornado warning that's in effect in the state of New York, Sullivan County, and this goes until 1.15 p.m. And you can see how many other severe thunderstorm warnings there are around that. We'll continue to track this severe weather as we go through the afternoon. All right, from severe weather to tropical weather, it is time now for the tropical update. And hurricane specialist Michael Lowry is standing by in the Global Forecast Center at our S expert desk with the latest. Michael. Hey, Vivian, still watching our 60 mile per hour tropical storm off the southeast uh, coast here. Uh, a hurricane hunter plane just took off about an hour ago from Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi. They are headed out to the storm right now. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, we just don't have a lot of information over the open ocean, so I'm interested to see what the plane finds in terms of its organization if we are getting a better organized storm. So the plane is right here. They'll be flying into the system in the next hour or so as we get that information here on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned. We're going to bring it to you live here on air. Here are the latest stats from the National Hurricane Center as of the 11 o'clock advisory, 105 miles east-northeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. Winds, as I mentioned, still 60 miles per hour. Those pressures uh, don't appear to have come down, but we will wait to see what the plane finds when it goes in. And now starting to move at least toward the north in paralleling Florida for the time being at seven uh, miles per hour. This is our visible satellite, and on top of that, I've also put land-based radar. There are uh, showers up here on the north side of it, but our radars are down here in Melbourne, in <clears throat> Jacksonville, and Charleston. So we're not getting a full coverage of the storm, but you can see that it has become just a little better organized in its convective and pure in terms of the showers and the storms that are wrapping around. We're starting to see that on the north side of it now, and it's trying to form a cloud-free eye at the center. Not there yet, but as you get those storms wrapping around, you get sinking air in the middle of the storm. That sinking air dries out the center of the storm. That's why you get the eye of the hurricane, and the worst of the weather is going to be right here, just immediately outside of that cloud-free region in what we call the eye wall. So it is also trying to look like it's forming an eye wall here. That's where your worst winds and your strongest, I'm sorry, your uh, heaviest rainfall is going to be. This is the forecast that we're seeing, that we're thinking here. It's going to move to the north uh, for the time being, but then eventually get picked up by a dip in the jet stream and then move to the northeast where it will skirt the coast, will scrape the coast possibly of a South Carolina, I'm sorry, North Carolina and uh, northern South Carolina as we move into late tomorrow uh, into Friday morning and then eventually get picked out and, and uh, taken out to sea uh, by that same cold front that's digging down across the eastern half of the United States. We have tropical storm warnings up for the coast of all the coastal counties here in North Carolina. A tropical storm warning means tropical storm conditions are expected in the next 36 hours. We have a tropical storm watch up uh, for the uh, possibility of tropical storm winds 39 mile per hour or greater on the north side or the north uh, counties here in South Carolina. We also have tropical hurricane watch is up uh, for parts of the Outer Banks and into the Pamlico Sound for hurricane conditions. That means winds in excess of 74 miles per hour here along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Look, regardless of where this goes, we're hoping that it stays to the east side of that forecast cone, but regardless, we're going to expect those coastal impacts. That means uh, high risk of rip currents re really along the beach in Florida, up to South Carolina, and especially into North Carolina, stay out of the water, but also uh, the possibility of some coastal flooding. We're going to have east Easterly flow tomorrow evening, that's going to pile up water on the ocean side here of the Outer Banks of North Carolina.
Carolina, and that's going to cause some uh, minor to even moderate coastal flooding. The forecast is for two to four feet of water rise. And remember, there's going to be uh, breaking waves, so three to five uh, foot waves that are breaking on top of this. And then as the storm passes by, the winds are going to shift to the north, and we're going to see some sound side flooding late Thursday night into Friday morning. We'll keep you posted on all the updates throughout the afternoon. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, Michael. Well, Tropical Storm Arthur is in a holding path off the coast of Florida. Yeah, but it won't be long before it starts to chug along to the north. We will be down on the beach to show you the rough seas Florida can expect today and where Arthur will move next. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms, high 89, winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, chance of rain 60%. Tonight, partly cloudy, chance of a thunderstorm, low 77, chance of rain 30%. Here's our... tracking tropical storm Arthur, timing it out to let you know what you can expect along the east coast of the U.S. So far, the storm has brought flooding to the Bahamas and a lot of choppy water to the Atlantic. The big concerns for the U.S. will be high winds, flooding, and strong rip currents. Tropical storm Arthur is now pulling away from Florida's space coast, but there have been some impacts. We'll run those down and have a forecast. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel on the beach in Edie Atlantic. It's all coming up on Weather Center Live. Well, good morning, West Coast. It's 10 a.m. for you. Well, it is 1 o'clock in the afternoon for us here at the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta. Thanks for joining us. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Kate Parker. Tropical Storm Arthur is churning its way through the Atlantic, but we also have severe weather. A tornado warning is in effect right now. This is in New York State. This includes Sullivan County. It goes until 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And boy, do we have a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings as well. We're going to get you all updated on this in just a minute, but we need to turn our eyes to the tropics first. That is right. Now we'll turn back to Arthur as we start our coverage this hour with hurricane specialist Michael Lowry. Michael. Hey Vivian, thankfully for Florida, Arthur stayed mostly uh, or well to the east of Florida and all the weather to the east of that. But still there is some winds around that system on the western side that have been kicking up the surf. Take a look at a tower cam that we have out of Jacksonville, Florida. This is in northeast Florida. And what I want to point out here is you can see the waves that are crashing on the shore. And we have to watch really from northeast Florida up to South Carolina uh, for the possibility of rip currents here. So anytime you have this wa these waves that are breaking here along the coast, what ends up happening is with easterly flow like this, you get a jetty or a current that also pulls out with uh, those waves, and that is what we call the rip current that actually will can pull you out to sea, and those are often uh, very deadly. So this is something that uh, you want to watch for. If you're going to the beach today, please, I would advise for you to stay out of the water in northeast Florida and South Southeast Georgia and then up into South um, South Carolina as well. Okay, let's show you what's happening uh, right now uh, across the uh, coast. Here we have very gusty winds just to the uh, just to the east of uh, these sort of uh, brisk winds that are bringing those waves to the coast here of Florida. We have a wind gust just of a buoy offshore of 54 miles per hour. All of those winds again, uh, tropical storm force winds, clearly in that tropical storm force wind category here at this buoy uh, to the east of the circulation. So 
Center. This is the latest information that we have from the Hurricane Center of the 11 o'clock advisory. We'll get a new advisory here, uh, an intermediate advisory within the next hour or so. We'll bring that to you once we get it. Located about 100 miles to the east, northeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. Winds of 60 miles per hour. Pressures 997 millibars and moving toward the north at 7 miles per hour. So thankfully it's moving away from Florida. This is the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Brings it to the north, but then it's going to get picked up and moved to the northeast because we have a dip in the jet stream that's going to pick it up and accelerate it tomorrow morning into tomorrow evening where we expect it to have some impact here along the outer banks of North Carolina and also the northern coast of South Carolina as possibly a borderline hurricane, an 80 mile per hour hurricane tomorrow evening into Friday morning and then racing up the coast. We don't expect direct impacts for uh, the northeast U.S. It could enhance the rainfall along that front uh, that is going to pull is going to push across the northeast, uh, but mainly that's going to be coastal impacts. We have tropical storm watches for the coast. We have tropical storm warnings for all of the coastal counties in North Carolina, as well as hurricane watches. We're going to talk more about those coastal impacts coming up in about 15 minutes. Stay tuned. In the meantime, back to Kate and Vivian. All right. Thanks very much, Michael. Yeah, let's get you caught up on the very latest with Arthur right now. Michael is just going through a lot of it, but the storm is bringing heavy rain and flooding to the Bahamas as we speak. Rough surf can be seen here at home from the central to the northern coastal areas of Florida. In coastal South Carolina and North Carolina, heavy machinery is being brought in to reinforce some of the beaches. And one county is evacuating on their own without waiting for official orders. The National Guard units are on standby. The lighthouse on Cape Hatteras and the ha Cape Lookout National Seashore are both closed ahead of the storm. Several communities in North Carolina have postponed their 4th of July fireworks for this Friday night. All right, we want to get you right out into the areas preparing for Arthur. We're going to start with Mike Seidel. He's near Melbourne, Florida. How are things going there, Mike? Tropical Storm Arthur continues to pull away from Florida's Space Coast here on the East Coast around Melbourne. Winds today, very light. They're running about 10 to 15 miles an hour. The sea oats are barely moving. Well, that's always a good thing to see, unless it's a hot, sunny beach day and you want that sea breeze. Look out there towards the north northeast. This is looking way in the distance towards Arthur. We're on the western semicircle, the drier side of the storm, and some showers are rolling through right now. We're getting just very light rain, and that's what we've seen through the morning hours. Just pit miss light showers. They come down the coast and they fizzle running into the dry air. Wave heights, no issue. Yesterday the surf was churned up. We had a lot of white caps. We've got a surfer out here. These wave heights running two, maybe three feet, even offshore at the buoy east of Cape Canaveral. Overnight wave heights around 11 feet have dropped off to between six and seven feet. A little bit of a cleanup on the beach going into the fourth. A lot of seaweed came in with last night's high tide around midnight, and we have lost a little bit of sand. We've had some minor beach erosion, but no deep cuts that we've seen uh, in the past with stronger storms that come closer. That was the key with the storm staying at least 80, 85 miles off the coast. We get through today. We have to worry about rip currents tomorrow, and then for the holiday weekend, typical summertime Florida weather. Temperatures back in the 90s and a slight chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Storm. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mike. Let's go ahead and talk about the Northeast because it is getting stormy. We started out pretty quiet there today, but that risk of severe weather is ramping up as we go into the afternoon. Here's what's going on. We've just had an additional severe thunderstorm watch issued. This is until 8 p.m. and it includes the D.C. Metro and you can see it goes south here through Virginia. All of Maryland going to be uh, or most of Maryland going to be in that uh, severe thunderstorm watch and that stretches all the way up through Vermont, the Champlain Valley until 7 p.m. So we do have a couple of severe thunderstorm watch we have a few warnings, not to mention a tornado warning that's currently still in effect for this cell, although you can see the cell has moved out of frame there and we're being continued with a severe thunderstorm warning with this. It was a radar indicated uh, tornado warning and this was for Sullivan County. It's technically still in effect till 1.15 p.m. Here's a look at these storms as they move along I-88. We are going to see, uh, we have another tornado warning actually in effect. This is a new one until 1.30. This just outside of Williamsport. If you're in this area, it's time to take cover now. These storms are strong. They have some radar indicated rotation within them. It's time to be in the lowest level of your house, away from windows. Again, Williamsport, if you're in this area, this is going to be until, this is Lycoming County. This is where you need to take cover. We do have a radar indicated tornado in this area. Uh, and that's because, again, lowest level of your house. This isn't even the impacts from Arthur yet. More on that next. For engineers, it's tires, not just for performance, but real life performance. So before you get in, 
Get going. Get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. Because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. Buy four qualifying Cooper tires and get up to a $70 prepaid card by mail. See retailer for details. Wait! Prilosex not made for immediate heartburn relief. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. Prilosec can take 24 hours. Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Introducing Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofing Stain. The seal just got better. With stain and sealer in one and easy to choose colors, exceptional beauty and protection have never been easier. New Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofing Stain. Available at the Home Depot. The most dangerous job on the planet. Storms and rain and lightning. The adrenaline starts running. I make one mistake and I'm dead. You're no longer at the top of the food chain. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunder. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy, low 77. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our... HQ Tropical Storm Arthur will affect the holiday plans of millions. Get the first word on the holiday weekend weather tomorrow morning on the Weather Channel. Let's unplug the past. Let's say goodbye to those. And hello to woe. Let's find a better way to cook this. Wash that. Compare those and save these. Because you can make dinner. Or you can make dinner a breeze. Are you ready? Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, this Maytag French door refrigerator, just $9.98. In case of an emergency, I can always use my Lifeline cell phone to call for help. SafeLink, the free cell phone in minutes program, is your connection to safety. If you qualify for programs such as SNAP, you are eligible for 250 free minutes and 1,000 free texts each month. Plus, new customers apply now and get 500 minutes for the first three months. The best offer of all major Lifeline providers. With SafeLink, my family can feel secure when I am alone. Call 1-800-SAFELINK or visit safelink.com. You know, there's a more enjoyable way to get your fiber. Try Philips Fiber Good Gummies. They're delicious and an excellent source of fiber to help support regularity. Mm, these are good. The tasty side of fiber from Philips. From safety to fuel economy to quality. Today's Chevrolet has it all. And it's a great time to buy. During the Chevy 72-hour sale, you'll get 0% APR for 72 months, plus no monthly payments for the rest of the summer. 0% APR for 72 months, plus no monthly payments for the rest of the summer. Hurry, the Chevy 72-hour sale ends Monday. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. We are tracking the very latest on Tropical Storm Arthur. All kinds of watches and warnings in place along the Carolinas as the storm could intensify to hurricane strength by the time it reaches you. Let's take a look at the latest. You've got a hurricane watch in effect. You can see this is for portions of North Carolina, and that is because we could see this strengthen. Our biggest concern here going to be the Outer Banks. It's not just the hurricane watch that we have in effect. We have a tropical storm warning along coastal North Carolina. And 
and it goes all the way from Elizabeth City down south through uh, Wilmington all the way to the South Carolina line. Myrtle Beach, you're under a tropical storm watch. You could see tropical storm conditions there within the next 48 hours. Let's go ahead and get a very latest. We want to go straight to North Carolina. Reagan Meggio is reporting for us in Wrightsville Beach. Reagan, how are things going? We're here in Wrightsfield Beach, North Carolina, just outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. Right now, we're looking at a tropical storm watch in this area. Now, what does that mean? Basically, there's a public safety message throughout the town saying that we should expect strong winds, heavy rain, dangerous ocean waves, and rip currents. Now, the storm isn't expected to really gear up here until Thursday, and hopefully and luckily it's going to be leaving by Friday. I'm joined now by park ranger Shannon Slocum. Now, Shannon, what are you telling people not only who live here, but also who are visiting with this tropical storm watch? Well, we're telling you, if you live here, you know, start bringing your patio furniture. When I go home, I'm going to grab all my lawn chairs, my barbecue and put it in the garage. And uh, by Friday, you know, I'll be able to bring that out. Conditions will be better. Um, you know, if you're visiting here, I would say tomorrow might be a good day to walk and pick up shells you know during these storms they, they wash up a lot of great conch shells and stuff like that maybe not such a good idea to swim um, we're gonna have a lot of rip currents you know big ocean currents um, just a, a great day to take a walk not such a good idea to swim absolutely now I know that there are gonna be extra lifeguards on the beach right. I believe two lifeguards uh, per unit and you said something really important about the lifeguards on the stand Right, you know, go up and talk to these lifeguards, ask them, get the latest and greatest information on what's going on out here, what's going on in the ocean, because where they're at, th they can see what's going on. You know, if they see a rip current, they're going to see it way before you do. So Absolutely. Always ask, you know. Okay, and there's no dumb question Absolutely. in addition. Okay, so here in Wrightsfield Beach, North Carolina, tropical storm watch, and basically at this point, it's not going to gear up until Thursday, but for now, enjoy the sun and the nice conditions while you can. Back to you. Okay, we are keeping you updated on tropical storm author but we also want you to know we have a potent cold front that's moving through the northeast and right out ahead of it already we have some storms breaking out near the Williamsport area and even just south of Albany Georgia uh, Albany uh, Nor New York you can see just to the east of Williamsport there is a tornado warning that has been issued for Lycoming County now the cities of Muncie Muncie Creek and Wolf again Doppler radar is indicating according to the signature on radar there is some some rotation with this particular thunderstorm. It's moving off to the north and east, so it'll reach the Straw Bridge area by 121, 132 in Jordan, and about 145 in the LaPorte area. So please be on the lookout. Go to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home because Doppler radar is indicating some rotation. We have hail and high winds here just south of Albany with this particular thunderstorm, so be careful and mindful of these. We'll keep you updated on the storms breaking out ahead of the cold front today. Bridgestone's new drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and go up to 50 miles. We can drive 50 miles on a flat and you have an app that makes nails pop up. Yep. We could rule the world. <laughs> but I've got carpool at three though, so oh, that time we could like mess with the world. 50 miles on a flat. Because if your tires keep rolling, your day does too. And there's no better place to get your Bridgestone drive guard tires than Firestone Complete Auto Care. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, uh, I have blah blah insurance, so person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Dad, look who it is. I see who it is. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. New Coppertone Clearly Sheer Sunscreens. Barely noticeable and face-friendly for beach, pool, and sunny days. Perfect, no matter what you're wearing. It's so on. Coppertone Clearly Sheer. It's on. Round up. I'm a loving husband and a real good dad, but weeds just make me rattlesnake mad. Well, Roundup has a sharp shooting wand. I'm sending them weeds to the great beyond. Round up. To pump, just point and shoot. Hit them in the leaves and it kills to the root. Round fences, trees, even mulched beds. Because the only good weed is a weed that's dead. Roundup. Yeah. Roundup. Yeah. With a one-touch wand.
Want to celebrate the 4th without little uninvited guests? Stop by your neighborhood Ace to get Ortho Home Defense Max with Comfort Wand. Just $9.99 after $3 instant savings during our 4th of July event. Happening now. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Morning on AMHQ, Tropical Storm Arthur will blow away the holiday plans of millions. You want to hear the first word on the weekend ahead for your fourth. Right here, tomorrow morning on America's... Investing takes perspective. While some focus on the short term, we see long-term opportunities in all market cycles. It's made us a leader in investment management. Franklin Templeton Investments. Gain from our perspective. What's your vet IQ? Do you know why vets recommend Minty's? Because Minty's helps clean teeth, freshen breath, and control plaque and tartar for a fraction of the cost of greenies. Now that's a good trick. High quality without the high cost. That's Vet IQ Smart. Sunny, sexy, sizzling. People come here to live their dream. Welcome to Miami Real Estate. Five million. Eight point nine. Twenty million dollars. Where these three agents each have a vice. You might want to lay off the Botox because apparently it's seeping into your brain. I will never lose my Northeast class. This is ridiculous. The high we're supposed to close tomorrow. There really isn't any competition. Yes. Million Dollar Listing Miami. All new every Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Only by Bravo. Our way of saying thank you. Wild Tiger numbers are at an all-time low. Please, help save them now. A Weather Channel original series. This is a dangerous job. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 89 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms. High, 89. Chance of rain, 60%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. This is so cool. I always love these perspectives, but it's even cooler because it's not from a satellite. It's actually from astronaut Reed Wiseman. He took this picture aboard the International Space Station flying high above Tropical Storm Arthur. He tweeted this photo this morning. So, I mean, we have a hard time sometimes getting signal here in the studio and he's mm -hmm. tweeting from space. Love, so. love, love that picture. <laughs> Technology. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> that is a picture, of course, of Tropical Storm Arthur. And it's throwing a monkey wrench into the plans of those taking vacations at sea right now. Cruise ships in the Bahamas dealt with rain and choppy waters. The northern Bahamas are seeing some showers with this storm. The bigger concern is back in the U.S. now along the coastal shorelines of the southeast. Officials are keeping a very close eye on North Carolina. Even with all of those expenditures, we still face the problem that the road, Highway 12, is sitting on an incredibly vulnerable stretch of Barrier Island, and that ultimately, even those bridges are going to be going to sea. And those communities along the coast are preparing right now, putting their plans into place. We want to get the very latest on Arthur. We're going to check back in with Hurricane Specialist Michael Lowry. Michael, is storm surge going to be a component of the storm? Yeah, it is. I think either way, we're going to get a coastal flooding impact along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. As Robert was saying, uh, the Outer Banks are really just a barrier island, and, and Barrier Island, by definition, is a low-lying area. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Let's show you what it looks like on our current visible satellite. As Kate was saying, it was a beautiful shot from space. We're getting another shot here from 
from our satellite, and it is getting a little better organized in terms of its overall appearance. Uh, earlier, we had uh, dry air that had been working in from the north of it, kind of wrapping its way down into the center of the storm, preventing the uh, thunderstorms from wrapping around the north side of it. We're seeing those thunderstorms, though, starting to pop up on the north side of the storm. Uh, we do have a Hurricane Hunter plane that is headed out there as we speak, and they're going to bring us the latest information, and we'll bring it to you in the next few hours here. We're also getting a new advisory from the Hurricane Center in about half an hour, so stay tuned for that. Here's our water vapor picture. This is the amount of water content, about 20 or 30,000 feet up, and this is that dry air I was talking about. The darker shading within the milky white colors is the drier air, and that sort of entraining or punching down into the system. Uh, really, tropical systems thrive off of moisture at the mid-levels, about 10,000 feet up. If it's a dry environment, they often struggle. That's what's kept this uh, system in check. We have a dip in the jet stream that's progressing across the central U.S. and across the Ohio Valley. This dip in the jet stream is what's ultimately going to pick it up and bring it uh, along the, the east, uh, eastern seaboard. It's going to get precariously close to the outer banks of North Carolina. The center may or may not move on shore, uh, but the impacts, again, on the coastal side are going to be there regardless. This is the official forecast that we have from the Hurricane Center, gradually strengthening it to a 70-mile-per-hour tropical storm. Now, this is where the forecast center of the storm is most likely going to be the impacts can extend well away from the center, usually on the right side of the storm. The worst weather usually is on the right side of the tropical storm or the hurricane. And then moving up the coast and skirting the Outer Banks, scraping the Outer Banks, maybe even making landfall there uh, late tomorrow evening into Friday morning. And it's going to bring those strong winds, the heavy rainfall, and of course the possibility for some coastal flooding and then eventually moving out to sea by the time we get into the weekend. So let's focus on that coastal flooding as it goes up the coast, we're going to have easterly flow tomorrow during the day. That persistent easterly wind flow along the Outer Banks is going to uh, slowly uh, cause those water levels to begin to rise, probably starting early tomorrow afternoon, and then peaking as we move into the evening into the overnight hours as those winds shift because the hurricane is going to, or the tropical storm, is going to move uh, past them, and we're going to get a, a wind shift from the east to the north. But when we have that easterly component, it's going to be on the ocean side where we're expecting the greatest water rise. So we're talking two uh, to four feet along the, um, sorry, two to four feet along the outer banks here of North Carolina. And then once those winds shift to a northerly direction, then you're going to push water from the sound side toward the back side of the outer banks. And that's where we have to watch for flooding from Rodanthe northward along Highway 12. That's where we get, usually get the worst flooding is the sound side flooding uh, on the outer banks along Highway 12. Also here in the mid Atlantic, uh, the Virginia, um, the Virginia Tidewater area, uh, Hampton Roads, Lower Chesapeake Bay. You're not out of it either. We could see some minor coastal flooding here as well. So, Kate and Vivian, uh, regardless of what happens, we're hoping that this track continues to push uh, to the east. But even uh, if it does, we're still going to see the coastal flooding, the rip currents, uh, the high surf as we move through the day tomorrow. Back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Michael. Well, in the meantime, the Northeast is in for a volley of rough weather today. Gusty winds and hail are the main threat will track storms next. Bridgestone tires perform best when you need it most. Like when golf commentator David Faraday is on his way to work. Let's go. David has the Bridgestone Taranza tires. And now we drive. Engineered with Serenity technology to absorb road noise for a quiet ride. So quiet. Is this a golf whisper? No. This is a golf whisper. Uh, I mean, uh. Kids are fed? Kids are fed. Homework is done. Baths are taken. I'm impressed. Looks like you've got everything under control. We got it all under control here. We're all good, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we're all good here. Yeah. Yep. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hello. Finally, a paint that's stain resistant and scrubbable. Introducing new Valspar Reserve. Now get 10 to $40 off our best paint and stains. Nobody told us to expect it. Intercourse that's painful due to menopausal changes. The problem isn't likely to go away on its own. So it's time we do something about it. And there's help. Premarin Vaginal Cream, a prescription that does what no over-the-counter product was designed to do. It provides estrogens to help rebuild vaginal tissue and makes intercourse more comfortable.
Tremorin Vaginal Cream treats vaginal changes due to menopause and moderate to severe painful intercourse caused by these changes. Don't use Premarin Vaginal Cream if you've had unusual bleeding, breast or uterine cancer, blood clots, liver problems, stroke or heart attack, are allergic to any of its ingredients or think you're pregnant. Side effects may include headache, pelvic pain, breast pain, vaginal bleeding and vaginitis. Estrogens may increase your chances of getting cancer of the uterus, strokes, blood clots or dementia, so use it for the shortest time based on goals and risks. Estrogen should not be used to prevent heart disease, heart attack, stroke, or dementia. Ask your doctor about Premarin Vaginal Cream and go to PremarinVaginalCream.com. This is worth talking about. What makes Florida's natural orange juice taste so uniquely fresh and delicious? Is it the rich Florida soil or the perfect blend of sunshine, rain, and temperature? Maybe it's the fact that Florida's natural oranges are never imported. They're raised right here in Florida and passed with care from our hands to yours. 100% pure, 100% Florida. Florida's natural. Try our new citrus smoothies in the chilled juice section next to our orange juice. Tomorrow morning on AMHQ, Tropical Storm Arthur will blow away the holiday plans of millions. You want to hear the first word on the weekend ahead for your fourth. Right here, tomorrow morning on America's Morning Headquarters. After Wake Up With Al, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 89 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms. High, 89. Chance of rain, 60%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Not just a morning forecast, a morning show. AMHQ with Sam Champion, the Weather Channel's brand new morning show. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. It's 30 minutes past the hour and we are covering you on tropical storm arthur oh yes this storm will bring rough waters along the southeast coast and will pose a flood threat as well here's the very latest on arthur we want to get you to that flooding that's going on in the bahamas right now that's one of the things that we've been watching we also have the rough surf that's hitting central the central coast of florida to the northern coast of florida right there along the east coast rip currents a big concern there as well today in coastal carolinas in the both North and South Carolina, heavy machinery is being brought in to reinforce the beaches while some lifeguards pack up and go home. Hyde County is evacuating voluntarily. The National Guard troops are on standby and campgrounds along the coast are also closing. Several communities in the Outer Banks of North Carolina have postponed fireworks shows on the 4th of July. Now let's go over to Vivian because she has the very latest on Tropical Storm Arthur. All right, Kate, this is the latest. Now, as of 11 11 o'clock, the advisory from the National Hurricane Center. We get official advisories from them as we're constantly communicating with them, and they put out advisories every three hours. So within the next 30 minutes, we will get a brand new advisory from the National Hurricane Center. But as of 11 o'clock, it was 105 miles east and northeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida, with winds of 60 miles an hour. The pressure 997 millibars, and look at the forward direction 
direction and uh, progression with this system. It's moving north at about seven miles an hour. So here it is. You can see the east coast of Florida. This is Georgia and South Carolina. So right in this little caved area, we have the center of Tropical Storm Arthur. It's the first one of the season. Now around the center is where we have the strongest winds. And you can actually see that the strongest winds are to the east of the center. We have some of the buoys out here over the open waters reporting winds up to about 45 miles per hour. As you get away from the center, the winds are not as strong. Even along the coast here of East, Georgia, uh, East Florida, we have about 5 to 15 mile per hour winds. So those strong winds haven't started to impact the immediate coastal areas just yet. Now as we go from the winds to the radar, we can see that even the stronger storms are wrapping around the center of circulation and just as the strongest winds are to the east of the center so are the stronger thunderstorms and you can see some storms kind of being pulled in on the south side but it's all wrapping around the center so this system has been strengthening so it's going to be quite interesting to see the changes that we get in the two o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center and we will be the first to pass it on to you so you got to stay tuned to the Weather Channel again we're getting some renegaded with some renegade showers on the back side of this tropical storm near the Daytona Beach area and even inland to Orlando. Generally speaking, less than an inch of rain will fall from the system because it is moving away, but we can't rule out some localized heavier spots. Okay, where is Arthur going from this point? Now notice the 70 mile an hour winds, that's what we're expecting even by tomorrow morning and by Thursday evening, we're talking those winds increasing up to 80 miles per hour. So it is expected to become a hurricane within the next 12 to 24 hours. And it'll be getting closer, we think, to the outer banks of North Carolina even, and then wisp on out to sea, but going parallel to the Northeast coast. So we will be here throughout the day today, right on through the weekend, keeping you updated on Tropical Storm Arthur. Again, remember, a new advisory from the National Hurricane Center coming up in less than 30 minutes, and we will be the first to pass on to you. Back to you, Kate. Well, Vivian Arthur is expected to bring an incredible risk of rip currents all along the East Coast, along with strong gusty winds and a lot of rain. Our Mike Seidel is in India the Atlantic on Florida's Space Coast. Tropical storm watches have been dropped there, but the danger in the water remains. Mike? The impacts from Tropical Storm Arthur here along the east coast of Florida have been minimal. We've had some rain, but very little. Yesterday we had oh, three or four heavier showers that lasted about five or six minutes, and the airport inland only picked up 13 hundredths of an inch. Now we're following some more showers. They are rotating in on the western side of Arthur, which is the drier side. The western semicircle has not featured a lot of heavy rain. It's all been on the south and east side, and that keeps it out over the Atlantic. So we haven't had those really uh, strong tropical downpours and wind gusts, say, 40 or 50 miles an hour. Yesterday we had winds gusting uh, with the hot afternoon temperatures up there around 30, 32 miles an hour. Wave heights, not looking too bad. They're about two, maybe three footers, uh, barely uh, knee slappers at this point. We've had some surfers out this morning, some uh, surf fishermen. And what we're not seeing today are the white caps as the Atlantic was churned up quite a bit yesterday, late morning through the afternoon. On the beaches, high tide brought in a bunch of seaweed. This will be a cleanup going into the 4th of July weekend. But uh, unlike the seaweed I find at my uh, beaches up north, this is, this is not bad. You can actually probably make some sushi out of it. We've also lost a little bit of sand. We've had some minor beach erosion as the next high tide comes in here for midday. Weather rested today and tonight. A few showers again coming down the coast, but we're certainly uh, out of the woods. We were never overly concerned about serious impacts here. And then it's back to more typical summertime weather for Florida for July, for Thursday into the weekend. But again, watch the rip currents today into Thursday. Make sure you uh, check with those lifeguards. Back to you. Thanks, Mike. Well, we're watching for storms in the Northeast today, and this is ahead of Arthur. Arthur will impact our forecast. It's not doing it today. We already have the ingredients in place for severe thunderstorm watches that are in fact, in fact, we just went ahead and expanded one. This one goes all the way now into Maine, and this is until 9 p.m. Eastern time. This includes New York City now.
major metro areas, New York City, Philadelphia, and even south through DC, you are under a severe thunderstorm watch, and here's why, man, look at this. This radar has lit up over the last couple of hours. This was very dry and very calm, and then we got everything going out ahead of this front. So look at the numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that we have right now in effect from Albany, stretching all the way south to Williamsport. This is an area that we have a lot of those going on currently, but this is going to progress off to the east as we go through the day. So this severe thunderstorm warning, it does include Albany, Columbia counties, and this is until 1.45 p.m. So if you live in East Greenbush, North Greenbush, you need to take cover now. It's time for you to be inside. You don't want to go outside and risk it. If you are out and about and you're saying, hey, maybe I can run a quick errand. I have to go pick up my kid from school. Whatever you need to do, now's not time, the time to do it. And you need to stay off the roads as well. Even going along 587 today, you're going to have some big problems right through Poughkeepsie because you're going, in fact, there's a new severe thunderstorm warning as we were just on the air that popped up for that area like I was talking about. Delaware and Sullivan counties, you're under severe thunderstorm warning, and this was an area that we did have a tornado warning just a short time ago. This goes until 2.15 p.m. Our biggest risks here going to be damaging winds and hail. We could see isolated tornadoes. We've already seen a couple of those warnings pop up today. Going a little bit farther off to the southwest here, Columbia, Sullivan counties until 2.15, we have that new severe thunderstorm warning for your area. So the risk of severe weather today, it goes where those Severe thunderstorm watches are in effect from Maine all the way south through Virginia and beyond. Viv? Thanks very much, Kate. Well, you know this is a big holiday week, so the big question is, will you get to see those fireworks where you are on Friday? There will be showers for many, unfortunately, mainly if you're along the northeast coast, as we have the chance of some showers from down east Maine all the way to the outer banks of North Carolina, perhaps some scattered showers over Florida, even back to the coastal bend of Texas, and we'll be watching the northern and central plains. But great weather for D.C., we're thinking, for the fireworks. 83 degrees, partly sunny, and even better for the weekend. Currently in our area, 88 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms, high 89, chance of rain 60%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy, low 77, chance of rain 30%. Here's our seven day outlook. that ate up tires, wearing down tread and wearing out safety. Then along came the Michelin Man, who got drivers back on the road with safety that lasts. Find your tire at michelinman.com. Michelin, a better way forward. Summertime is watermelon time, and as a farmer, it's my favorite time of year. To know their sweetness will put a smile on someone's face means the world to me. That's why I work with Walmart. They make sure you only get the freshest watermelons, backed by their 100% money-back guarantee. This is Kathleen. Setting up the perfect wedding day begins with her arthritis pain and two pills. Afternoon arrives and feeling good, but her knee pain returns. That's two more pills. The evening's event brings laughter, joy, and more pain. When Jamie says... What's that, like six pills today? Yeah. I can take two relief for all day relief. Really? And, and that's it. This is Kathleen. For my arthritis pain, I now choose a leaf. Get all day arthritis pain relief with an easy open cap. Sonic has like every slush flavor someone could ever want. That's right. This is basically slush headquarters. Where sour blue raspberry plans world domination. <gasps> what? Get colorful with new Sonic slushes. Now available with Nerds Candy. This is how you Sonic. From safety, to fuel economy, to quality. Today's Chevrolet has it all. 
and it's a great time to buy. During the Chevy 72-hour sale, you'll get 0% APR for 72 months, plus no monthly payments for the rest of the summer. 0% APR for 72 months, plus no monthly payments for the rest of the summer. Hurry, the Chevy 72-hour sale ends Monday. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Whether it's roaches in the vents or Indian meal moss in the pantry, I have everything from growth regulators to pheromone traps. They think they're going to get lucky, but their luck just ran out. In case of an emergency, I can always use my Lifeline cell phone to call for help. SafeLink, the free cell phone in minutes program, is your connection to safety. If you qualify for programs such as SNAP, you are eligible for 250 free minutes and 1,000 free texts each month. Plus, new customers apply now and get 500 minutes for the first three months. The best offer of all major Lifeline providers. With SafeLink, my family can feel secure when I am alone. Call 1-800-SAFELINK or visit SafeLink.com. Introducing York Minis, a bite-sized new way to enjoy the full-size sensation of peppermint and rich, dark chocolate. New York Minis get the sensation. So, I'm walking down the street, just, you know, walking, and I found myself in the middle of this parade honoring America's troops, which is actually quite fitting because Geico has been serving the military for over 75 years. Look, I, I, I know this is about the troops and not about me, right, but I don't look like that. Who can I write a letter to about this? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Let's unplug the past. Let's say goodbye to those. And hello to woe. Let's find a better way to cook this. Wash that. Compare those and save these. Because you can make dinner. Or you could make dinner a breeze. Are you ready? Let's do this. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, this Whirlpool washer-dryer, just $3.49 each. You're watching the Weather Channel, and we're covering Tropical Storm Arthur with our team spread out across areas that will be most impacted. In coastal North Carolina, residents are under Tropical Storm warnings. Our Dave Malkoff is in Kill Devil Hills, where local authorities are keeping a very close eye on this strengthening storm. Behind me are the dunes where Wilbur and Orville Wright did the first powered flight in 1903. The meteorological conditions here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina were just perfect. It's very, very windy over those dunes. But there's another meteorological phenomenon that happens here in North Carolina on the Outer Banks year in and year out. They stick out there and it really catches those hurricanes as they come through here. They even had some damage back in 2012 in Sandy where it washed out a highway. That is actually the last time a hurricane hit the United States. This year, we could have this one and it could be the next time a hurricane hits the United States. So all these people who are driving in, 250,000 of them on any given day here at the peak time of the year, well, all those people keep their eyes on the skies and are watching the track of this hurricane possibly turning into a hurricane overnight on Friday. We'll be keeping our eye on it as the folks out here are keeping their eye on it as well. Live team coverage right here on the Weather Channel continues all day and all night. Back to you guys. All right, thanks very much, Dave, and we'll continue to get updates from our team spread out across the coastal areas that will be impacted by Tropical Storm Arthur. In fact, we have the very latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, and not much of a change from the 11 o'clock advisory. It's a little uh, closer there. You see 110 miles east and northeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. Actually, it's moving to the north still at uh, seven miles per hour. The pressure hasn't changed much. Uh, still 997 millibars with winds of 60 miles per hour. So we'll keep you updated, of course, on Tropical Storm Arthur. Kate? Well, the Vivian, our team is constantly gathering new information as we track the storm. And of course, Julie Martin joins us now with the very latest. What's new? Yeah, well, just getting in that new information, I guess the good news is Arthur hasn't really strengthened. It's still at 60 miles per hour, but we are expecting the storm to strengthen as it moves up the East Coast. And North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory, well, he's urging people to take this storm seriously. 
Use common sense, stay out of the ocean and sound throughout the duration of the storm. Rip tides are very dangerous no matter what your level of experience is in the water. Again, more than anything else, I don't want you to put at risk not only yourself, but also uh, people who may try to help you, especially our emergency operation workers. This is no time to be selfish or pretend to be brave during a storm for a short, short term adventure. And the governor also declared a state of emergency for 25 coastal and adjoining island counties ahead of the storm. Hyde County announced a voluntary evacuation for Ocracoke Island starting at 2 o'clock today. He also, and they also agreed to suspend all toll fees for the ferries that take people back and forth to Hatteras there for those who choose to leave. And that is what is being advised. Let's check on the seven-day forecast now with Kate. Well, Julie, we have that risk of severe weather today that extends right through the northeast. In fact, we've seen a numerous. Uh, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings, watches, even tornado warnings so far today. So take this seriously if you live in this area from basically New England south through the mid-Atlantic states. And then South Florida, you are getting some of those waves, increased risk of rip currents thanks to Arthur. Here's what's going on out west. Pretty quiet and very quiet. A nice break for the Midwest. Looks very nice going into your 4th of July holiday if you're going to be in Chicago, south through St. Louis, or even down south and into portions of Tennessee like Nashville should be pretty nice. Not going to be so much the case for some other spots along the East Coast. We still have to factor in the effects of Tropical Storm Arthur and what exactly we could see there. So that forecast evolving here along the East Coast. By Saturday, though, we should see that way off to the Northeast lifting out of there and clearing out behind it. So better weather expected. Staying dry out West, you're going to keep those temperatures very close to average. A little bit warmer as we get closer to the weekend, the end of the weekend ahead. And you'll see some rain through portions of the uh, plains and going into Monday, our next system starts to plunge in and we're going to see rain chances really kick up from the Great Lakes south through Florida and then even up to New England for next Tuesday. And so that's what we're going to be watching in the coming days. We have more on Arthur next. At every Ford dealership, you'll find the works. It's a complete checkup of the services your vehicle needs. So prepare your car for any road trip by taking it to an expert Ford technician. Because no matter your destination, good maintenance helps you save at the pump. Get our multi-point inspection with a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, brake inspection, and more for $29.95 or less. Get a complete vehicle checkup only at your Ford dealer. is ruined. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The Fire and Water Cleanup Team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. The Weather Channel's new morning show. It all starts with the weather. America's Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Weekday mornings at 7, only on the Weather Channel. Tomorrow morning on AMHQ, Tropical Storm Arthur will blow away the holiday plans of millions. You want to hear the first word on the weekend ahead for your fourth. Right here, tomorrow morning on America's Morning Headquarters. After Wake Up With Al, only on the Weather Channel. A flood advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 88 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms. High, 89. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
like Sandy. Meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, Shannon. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. husband and a real good dad, but weeds just make me rattlesnake mad. Well, Roundup has a sharp shooting wand. I'm sending them weeds to the great beyond. Yeah. No need to pump, just point and shoot. Hit them in the leaves and it kills to the root. Ground fences, trees, even mulch beds, because the only good weed is a weed that's dead. Roundup. Yeah. Roundup. Yeah. With a one-touch wand. That's smooth. Transform your worn weather deck into a beautiful barefoot friendly surface with Olympic Rescue It Wood and Concrete Resurfacer. Who are you talking to? Olympic Rescue It from America's most trusted brand since 1938. Available at Lowe's. Surely a vacuum shouldn't just work on carpets. Well, the Dyson DC65 cleans better than. Hey, girl. Hey, can you help me move? Sure, but I can't use my hands. I would, but my back is so bad. Oh. Uh, well... Hi, uh, I'm moving. No problem. The Xfinity Movers Edge program makes it easy to stay connected to your TV, internet, and home phone when you move. Ah, oh, thank you. Finally, get some help moving. Get your Xfinity services professionally installed on the date you choose. Or ask how you can take your equipment with you. Call 1-855-MOVE-EDGE or go online today. How does an investment manager stand the test of time? By taking a long view through all market cycles and keeping a close eye on risk. It's made Franklin Templeton a leader in equity investing for over 60 years. Gain from our perspective. What's your vet IQ? Do you know why vets recommend Minties? Because Minties helps clean teeth, freshen breath, and control plaque and tartar for a fraction of the cost of greenies. Now that's a good trick. High quality without the high cost. That's Vet IQ Smart. 800-990-8968. XO's Pro is not sold in stores, so call 1-800-990-8968 today. America's Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Not just a morning forecast, a morning show. AMHQ with Sam Champion, the Weather Channel's brand new morning show. Well, you can see the Carolina coast. One of them is uh, both, basically both of them are enjoying the last few days of decent beach weather. It'll be rainy for the 4th of July. Tropical Storm Arthur is making waves off the Florida coast right now. And then it starts moving to the north tomorrow. Fireworks displays are already being rescheduled and equipment moved into place ahead of the storm. All right, speaking of Tropical Storm Arthur, it is time now for the official Tropical update and hurricane specialist Michael Lowry is standing by and Michael we have the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Yeah Vivian just in from the Hurricane Center no changes from the past the, the last advisory still a tropical storm 60 mile per hour winds estimated and pressures 997 millibars oh about 100 miles to the east of Florida the good news for folks there is it's finally on the move moving toward the north at seven miles per hour we have a NOAA, a NOAA hurricane hunter that's headed out of uh, Tampa we also have an Air Force hurricane hunter that left Biloxi about an hour and a half ago that is flying into the storm just now approaching the outer edge of the circulation and so we're going to have new information as this plane sort of circles around inside the storm and uh, samples the wind and the environment in the storm. Uh, I, am, I am seeing sort of a juicing up of the atmosphere on the north side I've been talking about that dry air and how the dry air the presence of that has limited the growth and the development of this I think we're starting to see that begin to erode away which isn't great news because that is going to allow this to intensify and that's what the forecast is. This is our visible satellite picture. On top of that, I have our radar. Now there is rain over here. We're just not picking, up, picking it up by our land-based radar. You can see though the eye or the cloud-free eye trying to form right in here. Again, the worst weather, the strongest winds are gonna be right on the outer edge of this eye in the ring of uh, storms that we call the eye wall. The winds that I've seen, the worst of the winds, the strongest winds have been over on the south and the east side. 
but some of the heavier storms now beginning to wrap around the western side of the storm. So I think we may start to see this thing start to develop a little more quickly. But we're going to have more of that information from the hurricane hunters as they fly into the storm. Here are the forecast models. We have all of these individual weather models that we look at to determine where the storm might go. It's going to get precariously close uh, to the outer banks as it moves to the northeast, as it gets accelerated by a cold front, a dip in the jet stream that's moving across the eastern U.S. Most of the models keep it sort of hanging by the coast or close to the coast. Uh, if we take one of those models, look at this GFS model. We have multiple runs of that single model, and they tell us a lot about the storm when we can run those mo model, that one model, multiple times. It's like taking a box of cork and you dump it into a stream. In this case, we dump it into the atmosphere, and we see where do those co corks float. And some of those corks actually are closer to land. So look, this is going to be a close call, and we hope that it takes a path more to the east here, offshore. But either way, there's going to be coastal impacts in terms of the rip currents along the southeast coast. Rip currents are very dangerous, very deadly, especially with those storms that don't make landfall because you think, oh, it's okay, the storm's offshore. Well, the rip currents are strong, and those rip currents can pull you out to sea. And drowning is the number one death in, or type of hazard in as far as the deaths go in tropical cyclones. We have tropical storm watches and warnings for the coast, uh, the northern coast of uh, South Carolina. Tropical storm watch means tropical storm conditions are possible in the next 36 hours to 48 hours. We have tropical storm warning, which means winds of 39 miles per hour or higher are expected in this area. So basically all of the coastal counties here in North Carolina under a tropical storm warning and we have a, tro a hurricane watch up. That means hurricane conditions are possible in the next oh, 36 hours in this case. That means winds possible of 74 miles per hour or greater. Quickly, I want to show you this new experimental graphic from the National Hurricane Center. The potential storm surge flooding for the Outer Banks and into Pamlico Sound. The National Hurricane Center is forecasting the possibility of two uh, to four feet of flooding in this area as the storm moves by. Tomorrow evening, those waters are going to rise along the ocean side here of the Outer Banks. And then as it moves by, we're going to get north uh, or north easterly or northwesterly flow that's going to pile up water sound side. So you're going to get water piling up on the inside of the sound. It's going to be a dual threat with the system. Either way, if it goes over the Outer Banks or it stays offshore, the coastal impacts are going to be there. Ladies, back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Michael. We'll keep that updated for sure. Well, Tropical Storm Arthur is in a holding pattern off the coast of Florida. But it starts north tomorrow. Details next. A flood advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 88 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms, high 89, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Right now on Weather Center Live, we are tracking Tropical Storm Arthur, timing it out for you to let you know what you can expect along the east coast of the U.S. Well, a storm has already brought flooding to the Bahamas and a lot of choppy water to the Atlantic. The big concerns for the U.S., high winds, flooding, and strong rip currents. The winds are picking up here in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, and the crowds are taking advantage of another beautiful day here. But things will change very soon. I'm Reagan Medji, and I'll have a report coming up. Good morning, West Coast. It's 11 a.m. for you. Well, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon for us here at the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Kate Parker. Tropical Storm Arthur is turning away in the Atlantic, and we have the 2 p.m. advisory. 
And here it is, the latest now from the National Hurricane Center. It centers the storm now at 110 miles east to northeast of Cape, Hatter Cape Canaveral, Florida, with winds of 60 miles an hour, the pressure 997 millibars. That's the central pressure. The movement is to the north at seven miles per hour. Now we start our coverage this hour with hurricane specialist Michael Lowry to give us more information on this new advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Michael? Hey, Vivian, the good news this morning is there wasn't a significant change in the system. No appreciable organization or changes to the organization of this still remaining, as you mentioned, a tropical storm with 60 mile per hour winds. I am seeing some indications now, though, that the storm is getting a little better organized. We have an aircraft, a hurricane hunter plane that is currently in route flying into the storm as we speak. We're going to get the latest information from that plane, which could help to tell us how organized it's now becoming. These are some of the wind reports that we're getting along the coast here. We have uh, just some gusty winds along the northeast uh, side of Florida. We have a buoy just to the east of it that was reporting sustained winds close to 50 miles per hour earlier. That's come down because the storm is drifting or pulling away to the north. But over here in northeast Florida, just because the storm is offshore and most of the impacts, the rainfall, uh, the strongest of the winds are offshore, you're still going to have some issues. Take a look at this tower cam from Jacksonville. You can see the uh, high surf that's just uh, hitting the beach and has been the case really all morning today. What you want to watch for if you're going to the beach is those dangerous rip currents. We're already seeing uh, some of the showers kind of work their way down. But just because you don't have ways, the storm is going to pull off tomorrow. It'll probably be a nicer day tomorrow. You can still have the high risk of rip currents. The rip currents, are, uh, as a reminder, are just channels, very fast moving channels that can pull you out to sea. I don't care if you're a good swimmer. Those rip currents can be very dangerous, if not deadly. And uh, over in the course of a year, on average, we see 100 deaths along the coast from rip currents. So so certainly something to be mindful of as we move into uh, the day tomorrow, even after the storm passes. Those rip currents can actually be worse after the storm passes. Let's talk about the wind gust a little bit. That buoy still reporting a 60 mile per hour wind gust, so very strong gusty winds in there. Uh, the pressures, we're going to find out what the pressures are when the, once the plane gets in there. The tropical storm force wind gusts have been going there near the storm at that buoy for the good chunk of the past 12 hours or so. That's the reason we were a little concerned as this drifted to the west, whether or not it would get close enough to Florida, even actually move inland over Florida. Fortunately, the closest it got was about 80 miles offshore. This was the latest information that we just got in here. There's two o'clock advisory about 110 miles east northeast of Cape Canaveral. Those winds 60 miles per hour. The pressure is still at 997. This is the forecast track. We expect it to pull to the north, gradually strengthen to a stronger tropical storm. It shouldn't directly impact uh, South Carolina. Maybe some impacts here along the north side of South Carolina. The north coast of South Carolina. And then as we get into the evening hours tomorrow, that's when the greatest impacts to the Outer Banks and to the Cape here in North Carolina is going to be possibly at that point a borderline hurricane, 80 mile per hour hurricane. Look, there's a lot of uncertainty in intensity forecasting, so this is one you're going to want to watch. And hopefully that track, again, stays on the east side. Uh, but if it moves a little bit to the west here, you could see higher impacts along the Cape. We're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to have more on it uh, coming up throughout the hour, including the plane as it flies into the storm. Ladies, back to you. All right, thanks very much, Michael. Well, we want to get you right out in the areas that are preparing for a tropical storm, Arthur. That's right. We're going to start with Mike Seidel. He's near Melbourne, Florida. Mike, how's it going? Tropical storm Arthur continues to pull away from Florida's space coast here on the east coast around Melbourne. Winds today, very light. They're running about 10 to 15 miles an hour. The sea oats are barely moving. Well, that's always a good thing to see, unless it's a hot, sunny beach day and you want that sea breeze. Look out there towards the north northeast. This is looking way in the distance towards Arthur. We're on the western semicircle, the drier side of the storm, and some showers are rolling through right now. We're getting just very light rain, and that's what we've seen through the morning hours. Just pit miss light showers. They come down the coast and they fizzle running into the dry air. Wave heights, no issue. Yesterday the surf was churned up. We had a lot of white caps. We've got a surfer out here. These wave heights running two, maybe three feet, even offshore at the buoy east of Cape Canaveral. Overnight wave heights around 11 feet have dropped off to between six and seven feet. A little bit of a cleanup on the beach going into the fourth. A lot of seaweed came in with last night's high tide around midnight. And we have lost a little bit of sand. We've had some minor beach erosion, but no deep cuts that we've seen uh, in the past with stronger storms that come closer. That was the key with the storm staying at least 80, 85 miles off the coast. 
We get through today, we have to worry about rip currents tomorrow, and then for the holiday weekend, typical summertime Florida weather, temperatures back in the 90s, and a slight chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Back to you. All right, thanks very much. Mike Seidel reporting from Florida Space Coast for us today. And we'll be getting updates from our team of reporters in the areas that will be most impacted by Tropical Storm Arthur as it moves up the mid-Atlantic coast. We have Reagan Manji, Dave Malkoff, and storm tracker Jim Cantori, all in the coastal areas of North Carolina. But first, over to Kate, who's tracking the severe weather threat over the Northeast today. Boy, do we have a lot of severe thunderstorms that we've already seen today. We started out very quiet in the Northeast, but look at all the watches that are in effect as well. These have been expanded in many spots. We now are going all the way through Maine, south through Massachusetts, into upstate New York, and including New York City now. We're also including Philadelphia in a severe thunderstorm watch. These go until 7, 8, and 9 p.m. tonight, and this expands, extends all the way south into the D.C. metro as well. Look at the severe thunderstorm warnings. We had a blank radar just hours ago. And now we have severe thunderstorm warnings that are all the way from uh, Pennsylvania stretching north through Albany and now some flood concerns as well as these showers train over the same area. Here's a look at a severe thunderstorm warning that we currently have in place. This is just south of Albany and includes Albany, Columbia counties, and this goes until 2.45 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in any of these spots, it's best to stay inside and stay away from electronic devices. More on Tropical Storm Arthur next. I'm Randy, and I quit smoking with Chantex. As a police officer, I've helped many people in the last 23 years, but I needed help in quitting smoking. Along with support, Chantex Varenicline is proven to help people quit smoking. Chantex reduced the urge for me to smoke. They actually caught me by surprise. Some people had changes in behavior, thinking or mood, hostility, agitation, depressed mood, and suicidal thoughts or actions while taking or after stopping Chantix. If you notice any of these, stop Chantix and call your doctor right away. Tell your doctor about any history of mental health problems, which could get worse while taking Chantix. Don't take Chantix if you've had a serious allergic or skin reaction to it. If you develop these, stop Chantix and see your doctor right away as some can be life-threatening. Tell your doctor if you have a history of heart or blood vessel problems or if you develop new or worse symptoms. Get medical help right away if you have symptoms of a heart attack or stroke. Use caution when driving or operating machinery. Common side effects include nausea, trouble sleeping, and unusual dreams. I did not know what it was like to be a non-smoker, but I do now. Ask your doctor if Chantix is right for you. The most dangerous job on the planet. Storms and rain and lightning. The adrenaline starts running. I make one mistake and I'm dead. You're no longer at the top of the food chain. A flood advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 88 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, scattered thunderstorms. High, 89. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Tomorrow morning on AMHQ, Tropical Storm Arthur will affect the holiday plans of millions. Get the first word on the holiday weekend weather tomorrow morning on the Weather Channel. Bridgestone's new drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and go up to 50 miles. We can drive 50 miles on a flat and you have an app that makes nails pop up? Yep. We could roll the world. <laughs> but I've got carpool at three, though, so oh, that time. we could, like, mess with the world. Ugh, the stress. New Coppertone Clearly Sheer Sunscreens. Barely noticeable and face-friendly for beach, pool, and sunny days. Perfect, no matter what you're wearing. It's so on. Coppertone Clearly Sheer. It's on. Defiant 
Dance is in our bones. Defiance never grows old. Citracal Maximum Calcium Citrate Plus D. Highly soluble, easily absorbed. In case of an emergency, I can always use my Lifeline cell phone to call for help. SafeLink, the free cell phone in minutes program, is your connection to safety. If you qualify for programs such as SNAP, you are eligible for 250 free minutes and 1,000 free texts each month. Plus, new customers apply now and get 500 minutes for the first three months. The best offer of all major Lifeline providers. With SafeLink, my family can feel secure when I am alone. Call 1-800-SAFELINK or visit safelink.com. Let's unplug the past. Let's say goodbye to those. And hello to woe. Let's find a better way to cook this. Wash that. Compare those and save these. Because you can make dinner. Or you can make dinner a breeze. Are you ready? Let's do this. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, this Maytag French door refrigerator, just $9.98. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. We now want to get the very latest on preparations that are going on in coastal North Carolina. Reagan Medji is reporting for us in Wrightsville Beach. Reagan. It's a windy day here in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, just outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. If you look behind me, you can see the surf is kind of kicking up. This is a tropical storm watch here in this area, and that means the heavy rain, those strong winds, that rough surf, and of course, those strong rip currents will be arriving tomorrow. And I'm joined now by Dave Baker, who is the director of the Ocean Rescue here. And you're basically in charge of all the lifeguards to make sure that they maintain all the safety of the people coming in. That's correct, Reagan. What we try to do is prepare these lifeguards every year to handle these conditions. Everybody can do it when it's Lake Atlantic and calm, but these guys are trained so they can make rescues when it gets very dangerous. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Because like at this point, you guys have a lot of, you have your jet skis out, you got your ATVs out, and it seems like there are pretty many guards on each stand. You know, how is the preparation for you guys at this point for the storm coming in? With the storm coming in, we have an increased awareness. We know that rip currents are going to show up. So we've taken our staff and we've moved more people in to the areas that we know are going to be very dangerous. Next to piers are notorious for very, very strong rip currents. All right. And also this surfing community, everybody sees a storm. Here's a storm coming in and those surfers want to grab their boards and get out. What's the warning and the caution that you want to say? Surfers, they live and love these type of conditions when you have great swells. We want them to show up, surf, stay within their limitations, wear a leash. Those that are new to surfing, please stay out of the water and um, try another day when it's nice and calm. Absolutely. Okay. So that